Hey everyone, great news! World Creator 2025.1 is officially out of beta and ready to download. For the first time ever, there's a lifetime license with a special 20% discount for loyal users. Also, according to developer, yearly indie and professional licenses are gone, but they might come back for limited events. Indie users now get a big upgrade too, with terrain resolutions boosted all the way up from 4K to insane 8K. How cool is that? They've also rebuilt the biome layering and biome distribution system entirely, which is now way more convenient and way more user-friendly. There's also a brand new 3D asset pack, packed with trees, grasses, rocks, bushes and even substance materials. On top of that, you get absolutely new fantastic looking biomes, samples and loots for your camera to instantly enhance your renders. The Blender bridge is already updated, however Unity, Unreal, Cinema 4D and Houdini bridges rolling out soon. So there will be definitely new tutorials, fresh content and even a live stream showcasing all the new features. World Creator 2025.1 is finally here guys, bigger, faster and more powerful than ever. So definitely go check it out guys. So speaking about the new features, I wanted to show you the new and absolutely cool uh, biome layering uh, structure, uh, biome layering system that was introduced in latest World Creator 2025.1. So let me go to the presets and here we have uh, the great variety of uh, uh, nice and absolutely cool looking uh, biomes. So let me grab for example this uh, fertile mm -mm -mm -mm, eroded one. So this is how our biome with all of the filters um, uh, applied uh, on it. How, this is how it looks on the terrain. Uh, and now I want to add some another biome. So let me choose, for example, maybe desert or maybe maybe this one, arid red O1. So it's kind of uh, kind of a canyonish type of uh, terrain. So now let me go to biome layers, and I'm uh, adding this biome layer. And here, as you can see, I have these um, just two biomes which are on top of each other. So this arid red is on top. And now I just click this fill selection and I'm filling uh, the, this uh, fertile eroded O1 entirely, completely overwriting, as it's uh, indicated here, completely overriding the, the un underlying terrain. If you want to keep it, just switch it to add. But for this uh, example, I will choose the override because I want to start fresh. Now I will increase the strength and check this out guys, this is really amazing. I just can, you know, draw and raise my terrain, right? So I can basically uh, structure and sculpt the terrain. How cool is that? So now I can switch to Arid Red 01 and I just similarly just paint the Arid Red 01 biome, which is on top of it. How cool is it? So uh, now I can just... Um, I switch back to fertile. I have this override biome, which means that no matter of the uh, layers, the layer order, I can just uh, switch to desired biome, and I can just paint without any problem. So now, now I will switch to this uh, cool-looking uh, paintbrush, and I will just, uh, you know, paint it over to make the transition a little bit more um, realistic. So this way I will add a few details here, a few de details there. So that's how easy it is to paint uh, biomes, guys. This is absolutely fantastic. And now to make it even more cooler, I will just drag this Desert 001 on top of it. And it, um, it will not appear for now, we will just have to paint it. So let me uh, paint with uh, my brush. Oh, I think I'm not in the correct layer. Uh, I have to switch. This is very important, actually. I have to switch to, to correct layer. So in this case, Desert 001. So now, uh, if I will be uh, painting it, as you can see, I have this uh, Desert 01 appearing. So this is really convenient. This is absolutely uh, amazing feature. I really love it. It's uh, it's just fantastic. I, 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 I'm, in, I'm in total love with it, really. So, and of course, you can just switch to Arid Red and, you know, uh, again, using this, uh, this brush, 
you can make it even more interesting so that the, the blending is more realistic, right? So this is absolutely cool, I love it. And then let's say uh, it's not enough for me. So I have to, uh, I want to add this another uh, Dunes uh, biome. So let me go back to uh, the editing and I will switch to Dunes and then I will actually uh, start painting actually raising uh, as the as the name implies on the button raise paint I can actually raise uh, the, the terrain actually sculpting the terrain as I'm painting this uh, this biome uh, so now the dunes are quite um, quite big so we have to definitely uh, make them a little bit smaller so you can choose between these uh, different presets or you can use these sliders to achieve the look you want Pinching, um, you know, maybe doing some other stuff. Uh, maybe, you know, octaves could be more. You know, now I'm just raising the overall height of this biome a little bit. Yep, so spawn strength. Let's see what it does. So you can do whatever you want with it. Um, uh, and now let's see what else. Again, my favorite brush. You can use it, and of course you can import um, your own uh, grayscale brush and yeah, and use that one, your custom brush. Uh, then you can switch to this uh, desert, and you can you can have this override biome. So again, you can just you know don't you, you won't be caring too much about how to uh, how to paint it uh, because you have override biomes enabled. So now, as you can see, I'm just, you know, painting and raising, but if you want, uh, raising the, the, the terrain, but if you want, uh, not to raise, but actually, let me undo this, but actually just to paint, uh, with the biome, uh, that, that you have active. So instead of raise paint, choose just paint. So click this one, paint. And now once you will be painting, you see, I will be just, you know, um, adding uh, the desert biome on top of everything. So check this out. Like I was saying, if you have this override biome checkbox enabled, once you will be painting, um, the active layer will be appearing on top of everything. So this is very, very convenient. I personally, guys, find it very convenient. And there's actually one another thing that I wanted to show you, uh, and it's regarding the biome uh, biomes themselves. Uh, and that's uh, that's a new feature that we never had before. Uh, so the biomes now have the they own distribution rules. So that's really amazing, folks. I personally was waiting for this for so long. Uh, so now let's say uh, just to show you really quick. So we have this fertile eroded one, uh, which we dragged from the presets, and let's say we have this arid red. So let's say, for example, we want uh, in these sloped areas, we want um, uh, these, uh, these canyonish reddish uh, rocks to appear only on these sloped areas, right? On these steep areas. So how can we do that? And it's super easy actually now in this newest version. Check this out, folks. So now each biome layer, or actually biome, has its own distribution rule. How cool is that? It's so convenient. Really, I, I love it. So just uh, just uh, add the slope rule, and well, obviously now it's uh, it's it has the opposite effect. And let's just invert it by uh, adding the invert effect. But before I do that, I want to adjust the sun lighting a little bit so we we see it a little bit more clearer. Yeah. So now go to slope and select the invert effect. Voila, and that's how easy it is really folks i i love it of course you could you could do that in the previous version as well with uh, with masking and you know all the shenanigans but but this way it's it's just you know easier and you know period it's it's easier i love it and uh, on top of that you can add another rules like height rules and let's, so let's say you want to uh, control its um, height range right so you want to, to have these uh, red rocks on steep slopes uh, up to some level uh, right so that's just adds uh, yet another level of, uh, of realism and complexity to the overall terrain to the overall uh, landscape right so that's really cool i love this feature i was i personally i was waiting for this feature for for quite some time so i'm really happy that we have it now 
and now like the floor is yours uh, right so we can just um, go completely crazy and you know add a uh, gazillion of other biomes and play with their um, uh, rules uh, you know and uh, distribution rules you can you can add uh, uh, the the multitude of filters multitude of materials on top and you know they will all look absolutely fantastic and they will be all very easy to apply so here I'm just you know um, uh, doing uh, some uh, tweaking uh, using the, the mask so now let's say I want to uh, have these red rocks on the some specific area so I just added this mask and let me actually select the, this mask in the uh, in the mask distribution rule so now as you can see I can just uh, paint the areas where I want my uh, red rocks to appear so that's how easy and that's how cool uh, and, and actually um, satisfactory it is in latest 2025.1 that's just cool I love it so I hope you liked this video guys uh, if you did uh, hit that like button leave a comment tell me what do you think about it and don't forget to subscribe of course that's very important thanks a lot and see you soon folks